So ever since the days of Galileo Galilei and Newton, mathematics and physics have walked hand in hand. Uh, Galileo Galilei wrote that uh, the book of nature lies wide open before our eyes, but we can read it only if we know the language in which it's written, and that's mathematics. And the letters used are geometrical figures like circles and, and so on. Uh, in the last century, uh, biology started to use mathematics heavily, and I would say that today it's impossible to make advances in the life sciences without uh, mathematics. The 20th century was uh, uh, the century of physics. Uh, it has been said that uh, the 21st century is the century of biology, basically life sciences. So life sciences as a whole is a, is a vast topic. And what has happened in, in recent years is an explosion of data. So obviously that amount of data, you need to have very clever ways to process. And there the informatics comes in. So you need informatics at, at, at all stages. So in the future, there will be a great need for people skilled in uh, mathematical modeling who master uh, ma mathematical modeling. For instance, when designing uh, programs for mass screening of diseases, for designing vaccination uh, programs, and uh, for instance, personalized medicine. We need people who uh, can do mathematical modeling. I find the quality of teaching to be very high and I think more, more important than that I find the professors to genuinely want to help their students uh, succeed and they tend to be very available and very interested in giving additional explanations or resources and materials because the professors seem to be genuinely invested in the success of their students. It happens to be so that the data grows faster than our computing power grows. So it means that we have to make better algorithms Better, better methods and um, life science informatics will train people who can do that. So we will bring in people with quantitative skills who then will be able to help life science um, to utilize this data and make the best use of it. So a student gains a practical uh, experience in, in research work, so, so in, in our master's um, thesis programs we, or, or master's thesis projects we often um, work with, with the actual research groups and, and so that's the, the key point in this life science is to really be able to, to be part of the uh, research work. Stereotypically mathematicians and computer scientists might be a bit of lone wolves. I think Kumpla campus does a great job in bringing those great points together. Yeah, so the campus in Kumpula is, is quite new. It's very open, so um, you always see um, tutors like help us as students, um, you see the, the professors, the doors are open. It's, it's great, I liked it. I think that uh, being a student in Helsinki has been not just an excellent academic experience but also an excellent life experience for me because um, I've had the chance to meet researchers and other students from all over the world and live in a, in a city um, that really seems to care about and value its students. You know, the, the, the discounts on public transportation and food that are available to students make it a very livable city. Um, and also, you know, it's, it's nice that I think there are a lot of events going on all the time around here. You know, there are lots of, there are lots of just, you know, bars and clubs and, and hangouts, cafes. You know, I love to study in a cafe all day and, you know, there's plenty of that here in Helsinki.